gifted to me. It's the Submersion of Japan. And while it's not my favorite movie, I will tell you this much. The fact that Teriyoshi Nakano doesn't get enough credit as a special effects guy. All we ever hear about, I'm sorry I'm getting like a little, I'm like raising my voice like I'm getting pissed off. But all we ever hear about is how the 70s were so awful. Special effects were awful. Da, 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 da. There was no money. It was the dark ages. But those mother only ever talk about the Godzilla stuff. This movie, Submersion of Japan, what was the date? It's 73. They were on the same time. Uh, Prophecies of Nostradamus. Go watch those two movies back to back. And you tell me that Nakano, that Nakano was not an EJ Tsuburaya level guy in his day. Special effects in this movie blow anything, anything that Godzilla had been doing in the 70s or even the late 60s, I would say. Incredible work. There are parts in this movie that I'm pausing and I'm like, is that a matte painting? Like, what, what is this? Forgive my rant there, but Teriyoshi Nakano needs credit. <laughs>